Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello boys and girls, hello gentlemen, tonight on Impact Pro Wrestling, we are in St. Louis, Missouri, and we have a great show planned for all of the Missouriers here in attendance, and all of you Impact Pro Wrestling fans at home. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight... We're not going to start off with a matchup like how we normally would. We are going to start off with our Impact Pro Wrestling General Manager, Sean Sloan. Now, Sean Sloan, he said that he wanted to come out here and he wanted to hold a, a little stand-up chat, as he put it. And uh, I can only assume that this stand-up chat is going to be between the two men that will go head-to-head -head this coming Sunday at King of the Mountain, of course, for the King of the Mountain Championship and for the conclusion of the King of the Mountain Tournament. I can only assume it would be teen, uh, it would be between the first generation wrestler Trevor Jericho and the Golden Boy Heath Gold, but of course it is always possible that Sean would like to speak stand-up style with someone else on the Impact Pro Wrestling roster. We will just have to see who Sean Sloan intends to bring out here. Whether it's Trevor Jericho, Heath Gold, Danny Myers, Justice, or Beast himself, we will just have to see. You heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. I was correct. He's out here to call Trevor Jericho. He's out here to call Heath Gold. And it looks like we're going to have, a first of all, coming out here, Trevor Jericho, the first generation wrestler. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes TJ. Here comes Trevor Jericho. Of course. He is not in any kind of wrestling attire as he's not wrestling tonight. He is here for this, again, stand-up chat, as I believe uh, Sean Slow put it to me earlier. Here comes the first-generation wrestler. He's been in this situation before, ladies and gentlemen. He's been in the finals before. The finals for the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. A tournament we started out IPW with, where Beast was crowned our first champion. He has been here before. The question is, this time, the second time around, will he come out victorious? Alright, Trevor Jericho has been called out, and now the call has been made for his opponent this Sunday at King of the Mountains. Here comes, here comes the Golden Boy. Here comes Heath Gold. And uh, unlike Trevor Jericho, you can see Heath, uh, Heath came dressing sharp. Heath didn't come down here to dress like any of these common criminals you see on the street. Heath came down here dressing sharp. You can see the gold and the black. We don't call him the golden boy for nothing here on Impact Pro Wrestling.
Very clear cut and dry here from Heath Gold. Very direct and very straight to the point. It looks like his work is done here. He's going to prepare for Sunday. Both men seeming very confident in their own abilities. Sunday at King of the Mountain. Trevor Jericho very confident. Heath Gold just as confident. One of these men will become a champion this Sunday. One will win the tournament. Let's just see who it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to really begin our show with the first matchup of the show. Our first matchup of the show will be a tag team matchup. It will be between the Spark brothers, Jeff and Riley Sparks, and it will be between Death, Bounty, Payne, and Zack Wolf. This is our first match of the evening, and it's coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first match of the evening. It will be a tag team matchup, and here comes our first team. We have Riley, and we have Jeff. Sparks, that's Riley on the right, that's Jeff on the left. And of course, we all know these are the Spark brothers. Jeff and Riley going to come out here and really put on a show for all the fans in attendance. We try to get a good matchup here with Jeff's bounty. I gotta say, I'm uh, I'm actually rooting for the Spark Brothers in this matchup. They haven't done a lot here in Impact Pro Wrestling. It seems like they've been struggling throughout their time on IPW. But struggle always has a payoff. I think eventually these guys, if they can, can really find a way to come out on top and to really push themselves to the next level, even toward the tag team title opportunity. It just might be their night to start that push forward. But to do that, they're going to have to overcome two guys who we know are a very strong tag team and know how to work together. They're going to have to overcome these two guys right here. That's Payne on the right. That's Zach Wolf on the left. And together they form the team known as Death's Bounty. We've seen Death's Bounty on IPW before, and we know that these guys are for sure no joke. We know for sure these guys are serious business. Payne, the muscle of the team, Zach Wolf, the agility, the quickness of the team. Together these guys form an old-fashioned tag team, and together these form a team that is definitely something to look at and definitely a threat to anybody who isn't aware. That's Jeff Sparks, Team Sp the Spark Brothers. That is pain with Jeff's bounty. The match has begun, and Jeff Sparks is gonna start it off with that nice sling blade right here. But pain immediate reversal. Big man using his strength here. Here comes a fireman's carry flapjack. Couple quick shots. Look at this right here. DDT from Jeff. Jeff gonna set up here for a running neck twist. Now here comes Jeff up on the second rope. He's looking to fly and he's gonna fly with 
a knee strike. Looks like he got some of it, but not all of it. Question is, did he get enough of it here? It looks like he did. Gonna set up here. For a Boston Crab, it looks like he didn't realize how close to the ropes he was. Payne able to uh, immediately reach out for those ropes. Nice double leg drop right there from Jeff. Big punch to the gut from Payne. Now taking control. Lupez press and a fist are raining down. Payne now trying to take control here with the Lupez press and now deadlift. Gut wrench. Going for something else here. Jeff able to reverse face crusher. Another sling blade. Tag being made. Now Zach Wolf in the ring. Big and Seguri. Look at this. Like that spark kind of lost where he was there, giving Jeff all the power he needed to still maintain control here. And he chokes out Zach Wolf in the corner, tree of woe position. Jeff going for the kick, Zach able to dodge it. But Jeff still coming back. Got Zach by the back of the head now. Putting Zach in his corner. Tag was made. Here comes Riley Sparks. Here comes the snapmare. Hit the ropes and big boot to the face. Now Riley in the ring with Zach Wolf and Riley gonna go after Zach here first with a face rake going for something here, but big insiguri by Zach Wolf. Now it looks like Zach might be taking control here. He's got Riley for this pump handle neck breaker. Zach looking to fly. He's gonna go up. Tippity top rope. He's looking to fly with a leg drop. Great big move from Zach Wolf. This matchup will indeed continue. Overhand shot right there. And back suplex. Riley fighting back. Now taking the control here, setting up for something, but Zach not done yet. Nice reversal right there by Zach. Quick shot, overhand shot, and here comes Zach with another nice back suplex. And now Riley getting his face just slammed into the canvas. Good for Riley, a good tag team idealism. Dragging his opponent close to his corner before making the tag. Payne now in the ring, going after Riley with that nice elbow drop and a big kick right to the back. Setting up for something, but Riley trying to fight back. Big elbow right to the gut. Nice spinning kick right there. Now getting Payne. Got him by the back of the neck, dragging him to his corner. But Payne fighting back just before Riley could get over there all the way. Payne fighting back, couple great elbow shots. Now sending Riley Sparks into his corner. Tag being made. Alabama neck breaker combination. The Alabama slam and the neck breaker. Great combination right there. Now Zach Wolf outside on the apron looking to fly with a nice draw kick to the back of Riley Sparks. Zach Wolf still taking control right here. Great move right there from Zach. Leg drop, elbow drop, and another nice elbow drop. Now Zach getting Riley on his feet, but Riley, nice Irish whip reversal right there. And Riley not going to even follow up. He's going to quickly get a tag in on his brother. But Zach not going to waste any time going after Jeff, sending him outside to the apron. Oh, there's triangle for something there. But you can see Jeff fighting back big forearm. Now look at this. Jeff setting up 
for a striking combination. You hit him with the one, two, then you hit him with the one, two, three, eight. And then with that big knee strike now setting up here. And that is what we've come to know, ladies and gentlemen, that big knee to the face. Not the end of the match though. Payne able to get into the ring quick enough to stop the pinfall. Jeff, nice leg drop now coming back for another leg drop. Payne's down on the outside of the ring. Zach Wolf all alone in there right now. No partner to tag into the moment. Great integrity right there. Now look at this. Zach. Oh, going for that body splash, tippy top rope. But Jeff able to avoid it. Able to keep the control here. Now you can see Payne back on the apron. Zach Wolf not in control here. Jeff in control as he delivers that nice stun gun. Jeff applying this nice wrestling hold on Zach Wolf. Gotta believe that Jeff is like the X Factor here. I think the winning condition for Jeff's bounty is to get pain in here and let him really show off the power that he has. While the winning condition for the Spark Brothers is to really let Zach Wolf be in the ring and let Jeff Sparks just be in there. Jeff Sparks really knows how to work in that ring, really knows what he can do. Great Hurricane Rana right there by Zach Wolf. Setting Jeff down and now the big man once again enters the match. The powerhouse of this team. Payne with some nice strong blows. Now getting Jeff on his seat, but Jeff fighting back. Nice move right there. Now Jeff getting pain on his two feet Irish whip being made into his corner another Irish whip into his own corner and ooh, looks like a running move was set up there but Payne able to dodge it now Payne gonna show off his power with this deadlift gut wrench Payne still in control here gonna take a moment to go after the arm of Jeff Sparks now getting Jeff on his feet And he's gonna slam Jeff's face right into that top turn buckle. Going for something there. Jeff able to block it. Big kick right to the gut. And look at this. Here comes Jeff. A very strong striking combination. But pay on his feet quickly. Able to deliver this right here. This waist tie. Spine buster. You've seen that before, and that is a painful move right here. Now Payne going for the pinfall. One, two, not three, ladies and gentlemen. Not three. Now look at this. Payne, he's measuring. We've seen this before. This is the choke slam, and a move that will definitely end matches for pain. Pinfall right here by pain. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we do indeed have a winner. Zach Wolf and his tag team partner, Payne, AKA, our winners of the night are Deaths Bounty. I suppose I was wrong in my assumption of thinking of the Spark Bros would walk out victorious. But regardless of my false guessing, this matchup was still a great one. And congratulations to Death's Bounty on a great victory. Great victory here for Zach Open and a great victory here for Payne. Really impressive showing here. This is why this tag team is on another level here in IPW.
All right, it is time to move on to our second match of the evening. It will be a no holds barred match between the Superman Danny Myers and the leader of the Dangerous Revolution, AKA Eddie Danger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all these fans here in attendance are ready for this no holds barred match. And here comes one of the guys that will be participating in that no holds barred match. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the Superman of IPW. This is Danny Myers. Danny Myers looking for one thing tonight and he's looking for a win. He's looking for a victory and he's going to get that victory hypothetically with the use of the Superman punch. That punch that will end the matchup. You can see the hand he intends to use at Superman punch with that glove. All wrestlers should be wary of that glove because that glove will knock you out and it will give you that Superman punch that you need to be knocked out. We've seen Danny Myers here on IPW before. Let's see if he can pull out a victory against the leader of the Dangerous Revolution. Now here comes his opponent, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes one member of the Revolution. He leads his own revolution in the revolution. The dangerous revolution is what he calls it. Here comes Eddie Danger. Now we've seen Eddie a lot here at Impact Pro Wrestling over the past, uh, I think, two months or so. He's really proven himself here on IPW. He's been in normal matches as well as hardcore matches. And he has come out victorious time in and time out. Tonight we'll see if he can come out victorious one more time. This is nothing new for Eddie Danger. He's been in these kinds of matches before where the rules are being bent to the extreme. We'll see if tonight those rules being bent will benefit Danny or will it benefit Eddie. That's the Superman, that's Eddie Danger. Danny Myers, Eddie Danger about to go head to head. The bell rings and Eddie coming right out of the gate with that nice arm drag. Going for something else there, but Danny fighting back. Big punch to the gut, big running clothesline. Now getting Eddie on his feet. Here comes the Irish whip. Rebound, Tomo and drop. And Danny gonna take a minute, rake the back of Eddie Danger. As he hits him with another Irish whip, the rebound, no Samoan drop this time, just a nice good old fashioned shoulder block. Now the Irish whip, going for belly to belly, Eddie able to reverse. Irish whip back here for Eddie. Going for something there, but Danny able to avoid it. Big kick and then the uppercut and a nice arm drag. Super bad going outside the ring looking for a weapon. He's got a steel chair Eddie fighting back though not able to use that steel chair because Eddie just removed it from Danny's hands with that nice punch Now Eddie's got the chair and he intends to use it with a big shot to Danny's back matchup is continuing to go on great arm drag right there from the Superman Superman going for a pinfall only able to get one shoulder claw being applied right here from the Superman doing the damage it needs to do
Nice reversal right there by Eddie Danger. Eddie with this nice wrestling hold. You can see it right here. Eddie with a nice snapmare. And Eddie just raking the face of Danny Myers. Now Eddie trying to go for another move here, but Danny able to reverse, going out to the arm of Eddie. Eddie able to reverse as well. Belly to belly, reversal from Danny. And going for the neck breaker. Eddie able to reverse though. Eddie setting up for the airplane spin and they're going all around the world right here. And they landed right back here in St. Louis. Great little sequence right there by both men. Now Danny on the apron trying to get up to his feet. But Eddie gonna send them all the way out to the outside of the ring from the apron to the floor here. Nice elbow drop right there from Eddie Danger. Now just throwing Danny into that apron. Sledgehammer coming into play, or maybe not. Eddie able to fight that away from Danny. Leaving the sledgehammer on the outside here. Eddie going for the pinfall. Not successful though. The matchup will go on as Eddie delivers some strong shots to Danny Myers. Now got Danny on his feet. Irish whip into the corner. But look at this now. Eddie, he's prepared. Setting up Danny Tree of Woe position. He's going to choke him out with his boot. Oh, look at this. Going for the elbow drop. Unsuccessful. Now Danny going back outside. Going back for that sledgehammer. Danny and Eddie following each other around the ring. Looks like Eddie's plan worked out. He was able to get that sledgehammer away from Danny Myers once again. Got him on his shoulders and he slammed him down on the top turnbuckle. Snake eye style. Overhand shot right there from Eddie Danger. And Eddie gonna set up for the torture rack back. Stabba. Penfall from Eddie Danger unsuccessful here. It looks like Eddie looking to set up right here. Danny Myers, welcome to the Danger Zone. Pinfall from Eddie Danger. One, two, not three. Danny Myers able to kick out here. Eddie taking another whack at Danny with that uh, that steel chair. Now throwing it to the outside of the ring. This matchup will continue. Setting Danny back down with the nice net man, but Danny fighting back. Big shot right to the gut. Double leg takedown, and the fist come raining down on Eddie Danger. Pinfall attempt by the Superman. Unsuccessful right here. Danny delivering a big punch right to the side of the head of Eddie Danger. Now Eddie being trapped right here. He's got one arm locked and away from him. But they're going at it ladies and gentlemen. Eddie able to escape that cross face. Danny with a big knee right to the gut. Eddie, Irish whip, sending Danny into that corner, facing his back. Danny fighting back with a big elbow right to the face. And now look at this, here comes Danny. Fireman's carry, neck breaker. Danny taking a moment, slowing on the pace of this matchup. Shoulder claw. Pinfall, unsuccessful. Any danger able to kick out. And it looks like Danny looking to end the matchup with the Superman. No! Eddie Danger able 
to block the Superman punch and hits him with another torture rack back Shabba. Going for a suplex, Danny able to reverse, suplex of his own. Pinfall on Eddie Danger. Eddie able to kick out. These two men continuing to go back and forth. A punch to the head was attempted, but Eddie able to avoid it. And now Eddie, a punch to the face of Danny. Applying some quick powerful shots here. Nice ending it with a double axe handle. Pinfall right here. Not a three count yet though. I think Eddie knows what he's got to do. He's got to hit it one more time. And it looks like he's measuring for it. He's measuring for the finishing move. But no. Danny able to avoid it. Here comes another. Fireman's carry neckbreaker. Danny taking control in this matchup once again. Belly to belly reversed by Eddie. Eddie hits him with a nice drop kick. Pinfall by Eddie Danger. Kick out by Danny Myers. Danny rolling out of the ring now getting back in. Eddie still in control. Irish whip sending Danny into the corner. Tippity top rope right here. Danny looking to fly. Annie. Hits him with a nice cross body. Tippity top rope. Eddie Danger's down. And you can see Danny Myers just looking at his work. Eddie now trying to get up to his feet. On his knees and using the rope to get up to his feet now. Eddie's still trying to fight back. He's got Danny on his shoulders. He's going to hit him with this airplane spin. Pinfall right here. Unsuccessful. Danny still able to kick out. But Eddie in control. Gonna set up and hits him with a nice reverse DDT. You can see Eddie taking a minute in that corner trying to regain himself. Figure out what he's got to do next. Maybe took too much time because Danny just got his wits back of him. Nice move right there by Danny Myers. Now that move is the catalyst. Because you know Danny's got to go for it right now. He's got to be setting up for his finishing move or no. He's, he's going to go right back after Eddie Danger. Eddie. Trying to get up to his feet, but Danny gonna rake the back. Danny going for something there, but Eddie just not able to get it. Danny able to reverse, and now Danny, he's looking for the finishing move one more time. The first time it failed, the second time it's gotta succeed. Here comes the Superman punch. Pinfall from Danny Myers. And we do have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Great matchup here from both of these guys. Eddie Danger and Danny Myers really proving something here. Really putting on a show for all these fans here in attendance. It looks like tonight the hardcore aspects of this matchup just weren't gonna work out for Eddie Danger. A great match regardless and congratulations to Danny and Eddie on an excellent matchup and of course here is your winner. He is the Superman of IPW and he proved why he is super tonight. He is Danny Myers.
All right, it is time for our next matchup of the evening. This is match number three. We are gonna have Deborah Dregs go one on one with Megan Martinez. This is sure to be a great match, and let's see which one of these two women will come out victorious next. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start this next matchup, and here comes our first women here in this matchup. Allow me to introduce all of you to the Colombian princess, wearing, of course, the colors of her home country, Colombia, yellow, blue, and red. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Megan Martinez. Megan Martinez coming down to the ring. We've seen Megan on IPW before, though we have not seen her for a while. But it is good to have Megan Martinez back on Impact Pro Wrestling. We'll see if, uh, if her coming back to IPW will be a great thing if she can get a victory here over Deborah Dregs. Now we do have Megan in the ring. She's ready to go, ready to represent her own country of Colombia. And now here comes her opponent, representing no country, but representing depression itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Deborah Dregs. And we've seen Deborah many times on Impact Pro Wrestling before. Tonight we will see if she can come across victorious. You know that Deborah is looking for one thing in this matchup, and that one thing is that knee strike that she's known for. She calls that finishing move depression. The knee strike hits a pinfall, follows, and a victory follows that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Deborah Dregs down here as well as the Colombian princess, Megan Martinez. It is time for these two women to go head to head in what I'm sure is going to be an excellent matchup. You see these fans are excited for Megan Martinez. For Deborah Dregs, the referee will ring the bell and this matchup has just Begun as Deborah Dregs quickly delivers a nice DDT. Now raking the eyes of Megan here. And nice move right there. Straight jacket German suplex. Tippy top rope. Nice senton right there. Overhand shot right there. From Deborah to Megan, now getting Megan on her feet. Irish whip sending Megan to those ropes. Clothesline avoided by Megan, but Deborah still in control, delivering a neck breaker. Once again, Deborah gonna rake the eyes of Megan. Irish whip sending Megan to the apron. Megan, nice reversal, delivering that nice insiguri and a nice clothesline. Now Megan finally going to be able here to take control, maybe. Look at this. Nice reverse DDT by Deborah Dregs. As well as a nice leg drop. Megan up on her feet again, but Deborah still fighting back. Sending Megan to the apron. And now to the floor with that nice drop kick. Deborah Dregs really showing off what she can do in this ring here. As she now goes outside of the ring, trying to get Megan up on her shoulders. And she slams her snake eye style right into the apron. A rake of the back. And you can see Megan with a nice reversal arm drag from the back. 
Now Megan getting Deborah on her feet. Headlock here. And Megan gonna send Deborah crashing right into the barricade. Now into the ring. Megan following. And it looks like Megan may finally be able to get the control that she needs here. Going for something there, but Deborah able to reverse. Big punch to the gut. And now a big clothesline. Pinfall from Deborah Dregs. Only able to get one. Megan Martinez able to kick out. Here comes Deborah Dregs. One more time with that send time. We saw that in the beginning of the match. Now seeing it again. You can see Deborah showing off her own strength right there. Just lifting Megan up a little bit and slamming her down. Here comes another big hair pull slam right there from Deborah. Now Megan up on her feet, but Deborah still taking control with the Irish whip. Going for something here, but Megan able to reverse. Now Megan gonna hit Deborah with a nice clothesline. And there comes another nice clothesline from Megan Martinez. And Megan gonna deliver a third one. Here comes a nice sleeper slam by Megan. Megan dragging Deborah closer to the center of the ring. Getting her setting up a little bit better so she can stomp right on the chest of Deborah Dregs. Now Megan gonna hit the ropes and just gonna kick her right in the face. Pinfall right here by Megan. Only able to get one as Deborah is able to kick out. Here comes an iron strip by Megan sending Deborah outside to the apron and now sending her to the floor. And these women one more time going outside of the ring. Going for something there, but Deborah able to reverse. Now sending Megan into the barricade. And here comes Deborah gonna deliver a big knee strike. Megan hung up on that barricade. Deborah sat her up there and then came in very close with the big knee strike. These women still brawling on the outside of the ring here. As the referee currently is at a seven count, but the count has stopped now that both women are back into the ring. Here it comes. Deborah Drake with that nice spinning complete shot, sending Megan crashing face first into the canvas. The pinfall now. Not a three count. Very close to a three, but not quite. Megan Martinez able to kick out. Deborah gonna shut up for a nice leg drop right on the arm of Megan Martinez. Setting up Megan on one knee. Megan, nice overhand punch right to the gut and a nice move right there. We've seen that before. Call that eat the feet in the wrestling business. Now Megan waiting for Deborah to get to her feet so she can send her one more time to the outside of the ring with that nice clothesline. Megan Martinez going to stomp right on the chest of Deborah Dregs. Getting Deborah out on one knee. Overhand shot. And Megan going to hit her with a big clothesline. She's going to step over, pick her up, and here comes clothesline number two. One more time, step up, pick up, clothesline, number three. Oh, you can see Deborah Drex here slamming Megan's face directly into that steel ring post. Now sending Megan back into the ring. Wind up elbow drop right on the back of the head of Megan and you can see Deborah's done. Deborah is looking for her finishing move. This is depression. The knee strike and that is all she wrote 
Here comes the pinfall. One, two, and three. And here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Great matchup put on by both women, but in the end, it was all about the victory. It was all about that big knee strike for Deborah Drake, This, of course, got her the victory. Here it is, this right here. That is depression. The big knee drop, you can see Megan Martinez knocked out. And she stayed knocked out right here for the one, the two, and the three. A victory here for Deborah Dregs. Megan Martinez put on a good showing here, but the knee strike of Deborah was the knockout blow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to our main event of the evening. The Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion will be in action. DJ Summers will be in action as he goes one on one with the Heartbreaker. AKA Tommy Hart. This is your main event of the evening, and this matchup is coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for our main event of the evening. Our main event of the evening, it will be this man coming down to the ring right now. You know him and I know him as Tommy Hart. We all know him as the Heartbreaker and what a match set for the Heartbreaker here tonight going one on one with the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. It's going to be a big one for Tommy Hart. It's going to be fun to see if he can win quote unquote the big one. You know it's not for the championship, but if Tommy can walk out of this matchup victorious, he is looking ripe and ready for an Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship shot down the line. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes his opponent. Here comes the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Here comes DJ Summers. DJ Summers coming down to the ring now. You can see that IPW television championship around his waist. The question is, will we see the referee holding it up this coming Sunday at King of the Mountain? Now we know that Jack Smith has wanted that championship match. He's been asking for it. He asked for one more matchup. Yet DJ Summers has not said anything. He's actually gone uh, a little bit disrespectful, if I do say so myself, in avoiding Jack Smith to not give him an answer to his championship matchup inquiry, I suppose. Jack Smith came out here after one of DJ's matches. He asked him point blank in the face for that championship matchup, and DJ simply walked off. You got to believe that Jack Smith is watching everything that DJ Summers does because he wants an answer. He wants a yes for that matchup. DJ is determined to get that IPW television championship. All he needs is the championship matchup to do it. Now we do have DJ Summers in the ring. He's still entertaining all of these fans like he does on a daily basis because DJ Summers is indeed the most entertaining man that we have here in Impact Pro Wrestling. But you know that once the bell rings, 
all this entertainment, all this fun he's having right now will go out the window because that championship is not won with entertainment. That championship is won by being one of the best in the ring. And DJ is indeed one of the best in the ring. And he will prove it tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Hart. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think that it is time, I think, that this matchup, our main event, is now set to begin. The Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion, DJ Summers, the Heartbreaker Tommy Hart are set to go head-to-head. -head. All right, that is the champion, DJ Summers. That is the heartbreaker, Tommy Hart. DJ and Tommy are about to go head to head. DJ gonna start off big with a nice clothesline. Getting Tommy on his feet now. And DJ gonna go here and deliver two strong elbow strikes. Apologies, three strong elbow strikes. Dragging Tommy closer to the center of the ring just so DJ can stomp directly on his chest. Now getting Tommy up on two feet for a big kick right in the gut. Couple quick strikes, a Irish whip by Tommy, reversed by DJ, and DJ gonna go sending himself directly into Tommy Hart. DJ putting Tommy down in the corner here. And you can see DJ right here just looking down at Tommy Hart. Tommy trying to get up to his feet, crawling away from DJ. And DJ still in that corner, just watching and waiting. Oh, look at this. DJ gonna set up here. Pump handle, neck breaker. Great neck breaker right there by DJ Summers. It looks like DJ looking to end this match quickly. Tommy Hart, be prepared to Get down. Pinfall right here. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner in a dominating performance. The Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion, DJ Summers. Looks like we just heard all we needed to from DJ in regards to Jack Smith. You know, Jack Smith may not be happy, but it appears that we will not get an IPW television championship match this Sunday. Now, looking forward to this Sunday. We hope to see you all there. Thank you for watching IPW, and we'll see you this Sunday for King of the Mountain.